everybody and welcome to Pre-K Discovery with Miss Barb. I'm so glad you decided to join me. I have a lot of exciting things for us today. So let's get started with the calendar. And last week, as you remember, was the first week of November. And that was our new month, N-O-V-E-M-B-E-R, November. And it's still 2020, that has not changed. And let's count and see what number we are for the day of the week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today is November the 10th. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, and that is a great day where we get to celebrate the people who've served our country. And we've still got Thanksgiving coming up pretty soon. So, I'm not going to do all the songs today that we normally do for the calendar, except that I would like to do the Days of the Week song, because what day of the week is today? Is it Tuesday? Is that what you said? Well, let's see. Days of the Week. 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 Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it's Tuesday because that's what our song says and that's what the calendar says. Okay, so if you watched last week, you remember that we talked about a big word and that big word was nocturnal and the reason we talked about nocturnal is we talked about raccoons and what did we say about raccoons that they were animals that were more active at night and that's what nocturnal means animals that are more active at night well I have a new animal for you this week I'm so excited because this is one of my favorite ones so our animal this week is and do you know what it is it is an owl. O is for owl. And look at him looking at you. He's got his head tilted to the side. O is for owl. And owl is O-W-L. It's a short word, owl. So that is what we're going to do. And the letter O looks like this. And when you make it, you start at the top and you circle around. And it's the same for the lowercase O, too. It's just a circle around. So O is for owl. So we're going to talk about owls and read a story about owls, but there's something new that Miss Barb wants to do with you today, and we're going to call this part of our pre-K discovery quick words. So um, let me show you my board. Okay. So today we're going to talk about quick words. Let me get it in the middle there. Quick words. So I have a rabbit because rabbits are quick. And our first quick word of the day is at. Can you say at? At. A-T. At. At. at at that is at so the way we're going to do this is i'm going to put a new letter in front of the word at and it's going to change the word so the first one we're going to do is the letter r r so if we put r in front of at it becomes rat r a t and i have a picture of a rat there's my rat r a t rat all right, so what happens if I take the R away and I turn it into a letter C? C. So we put the letter C there. And now the word is cat. Cat. And what does a cat look like? A cat looks like this. Cat. So that is our cat. So if I take this letter C away from at, it's still at. And I put the letter B there. Letter B. Now what word do I have? I have the word bat. B bat. And what does a bat look like? A bat looks like this is a bat. There's a bat. So there's bat. All right. So I got two more. I'm going to take away the B. And I'm going to put an H, an H, and an H is hat, hat, hat. Do we know what a hat looks like? Of course you know what a hat looks like. This is a cowboy hat. So that's a hat, hat. All right, I have one more quick word for you today. I'm going to take this away. We still have our word at, and we are going to put the letter S 
in front of at. And now the quick word is sat, sat. And look, this is what it looks like when you sat. You sat in a chair, sat. So those are our quick words for today. So every week we're going to have a new quick words and we're going to look at the pictures and talk about the words and then we're going to come back to these ones so that you don't forget them. All right, so let's move on to our owls. Owls, and what do we know about owls? We know that they're nocturnal. Let's see if I have a fact. 200 plus species of owls exist in our world. That's a lot of owls. So, and one more. Oh. A group of owls is called a parliament. A parliament. Hmm, I did not know that. All right, I'm going to save the rest of the facts for when we do our craft. So here's our book for tonight, and it is called Good Night Owl. Good Night Owl, and it's by Jeff Pizzoli. It's a really cute book. So let's see what happens to Owl. Owl was settling into bed when he heard a noise. I wonder what it could be. It was a tiny sound, no louder than a whisper, a funny noise that he hadn't heard before. Someone must be at the door, said Owl. Just a minute. Do you think someone's at the door? But no one was there. Probably the wind, said the Owl. And as he lay down in bed, he said to himself, Good night, Owl. Squeak! Then he heard the noise again. Is that what he heard? It's coming from the cupboard, said Owl. So he went to take a look. Hmm. He emptied every shelf, but there was no noise to be found. Hmm. went back to bed. Good night, Owl, he said. Can you guys say good night, Owl? Good night, Owl. And then he heard the noise again. Squeak. It must be under the floor, said Owl. What's he going to do? He's not going to pull up the floor, is he? <gasps> and he pulled up the floorboards one by one. Silly Owl. But he didn't find the noise. So Owl went back to bed. Squeak! This house has a noisy roof, cried, yelled Owl. What's he going to do now? He's not going to take the roof off his house, is he? And he took down the roof. There, said Owl, no more noise. Now he doesn't have a floor or a roof. Owl got back into bed. The stars and the moon shine down where his roof used to be. Good night, Owl, he said. I hope he gets a good night rest. <gasps> but Owl didn't close his eyes. He didn't dare. He's got one eye open. He knew that any second he would hear the noise. He waited and waited and waited and waited. Owl. Oh no, do you know what this means? I'll get you noise, said Owl, and he tore down the walls of his house. Yikes, Ow! But he found nothing. The cupboard was empty, the floorboards were pulled up, the roof was pulled down, and the walls were gone. Owl went back to bed and he said, good night, Owl. And then he saw the mouse. Squeak! Owl smiled. He said, good night, noise. And they went to sleep. The end. So that's a pretty funny story, but Owl, what happened to his house? Silly Owl. He tore everything up and found out it was a mouse. And the mouse just wanted him to to recognize him, I guess. So there he is. Good Night Owl by Jeff Pizzoli. What a funny story. So I hope if you hear a noise at night, you don't 
tear up your floor or rip down the walls or take down your roof, what would your mom and dad think? That would be crazy. All right, so let's take a few seconds for Miss Barb to get ready and I will be right back just like that. So I said we we're gonna make an owl today out of things that you could find in your backyard. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the pine cone. So I have a pine cone here and this is gonna be my owl's body. And then I have my parts from the acorn and those are gonna be his eyes. And I have some feathers and I have some paper to make his beak. So let's get started by gluing on his eyes first. And I'm using hot glue, which you know is hot, and you only use it when you have an adult to help you. So Miss Barbara's gonna be very careful with the hot glue, because she doesn't wanna get burned, and she's gonna glue his eye on there. So there's one eye, and I'll show you a second. As soon as I get both eyes glued on, I need another glue stick. All right, so here we go. Eye number two. Stick that one in there. All right, so now he's got two eyes. So here he is, two eyes. And there, we'll put it like that because they look a little wonky right now. I don't know why. They're not sticking on there very well. All right, so I like to use googly eyes. So down inside my acorns, I'm gonna put a dollop of glue there and a dollop of glue there. Okay, and I'm gonna stick my googly eyes down inside those so you can see his eyes. There's one, two, there we go. Now he's looking like an owl. Okay, let me show you. Oh, hot. So there he is right there. Okay, so those are his eyes. So what's he missing? He's missing a beak. Let's see, I cut out a beak here. I cut out a triangle, very tiny. And I'm gonna glue that right below his eyes and that's gonna be his beak. So maybe you can find something outside that you can use. I just had some orange paper that I used. So there he is right there. Okay, so now he's looking like an owl, isn't he? So he needs some feathers. So an owl fact is that owls are nocturnal, which we knew, but they're also solitary. That means that they live alone. They don't live with anyone else. They live by themselves. Seems kind of lonely, but they're owls and that's what they like to do. So now I'm gonna put some feathers on him. It says barn owls swallow their prey whole. They don't even chew it, they just eat it all up. Now I know when you eat dinner, mom's like, make sure you chew your food good. Well, for good reason, she doesn't want you to choke. And you're not a barn owl, are you? So let me put this feather on. It's kind of a big one for the size of an owl, huh? So you might wanna use something different for his feathers. So oh, there is one. Now let me get the other one on. It says owls don't have true eyeballs, so their eyes aren't like ours. I didn't know that. It says their owl eyes are tube-shaped and they are completely immobile. That means that their eyes don't move like ours do. Like we can sit here and look over that way and that way. An owl has to turn his head. And did you know that an owl can turn his head all the way around, like 360 degrees? Yep. That's what's cool about being an owl. So there's my owl feathers. He looks like he's gonna fly away. Kind of reminds me of this golden snitch from Harry Potter with the feathers sticking outside of him. So there's our craft, very simple, made out of things in nature that you can find outside and maybe some things you can find in your house. I got some glue sticking to me here. All right, so I tried hard at making this other one too. I got two owls sitting here but next to Miss Barb and put that in there. Now, because it's a library, when Miss Barb was looking up her facts on owls, do you think she went to the internet? No, she went in the shelves and she found some books. So this is the book that we read, Good Night Owl. And this book is fiction, which means that it's not real and it's a story. But this one is nonfiction, and this one says owls, and it's also in Spanish too, so if you wanna work on some of your Spanish words, this will be a good one to check out because it's in both English and Spanish. And what else do I have? I have this one here. This one says all about owls, and this one has some cool pictures in it. So let me show you a picture and drawings, they're mostly drawings, so there we go. So you might wanna check that one out. Um, I also have this one owling and this is a really big one look how big it is and it's got some really good pictures like these are all like pictures that are taking photographs and you can see how nice the pictures are in here 
So that is our story time, pre-K discovery about owls and nocturnal animals. So I'm going to say goodbye. So let's do the goodbye song. So goodbye, goodbye, see you soon, but not until we sing this tune. We must part and we must go, but I'll be back to say hello. So I'm going to see you again in another week and we're gonna do another nocturnal animal because that's what November is, nocturnal animal month for Miss Barb at Pre-K Discovery. So goodbye everybody, have a really good day.